Hello and welcome to the My School at Kent Summer School Program. Today we are going to be going over APEX, how to navigate your courses, how to submit your work, and then what to do in different situations. So to start, this is called your dashboard. This is what it will look like after you log in using the provided username and password and after you change your password to whatever you like. You should see your name in the upper right hand corner and your courses under here. This will be whichever courses you chose either with your counselor or with your parents when you signed up. From there, you can view the announcements. So this will be related to the different courses that you're in. So you'll want to take a look at those and see what your teachers have provided. So you might see different things like the written work deadline, or as summer school starts, you might study different things like how to contact your teacher. Below that, you'll see the messaging system. You can use this to message your teachers via Apex if you'd like and submit work. And then you'll also view a calendar. So this calendar will show all of the assignments that are due in your courses currently. So looking at this week, the date today is the 10th. So it shows I don't have anything due today, but these next three assignments are due tomorrow. Now this test student is in 40 classes, so your documents will not look quite this crazy, but you can use this calendar to stay on track and on pace to finish by August 4th. Also, when you're on your dashboard, you can do a few different things. You can hover over your classroom name to find out your teacher's contact information. So you'll hover and then click. I can see that my teacher is Mrs. Finkel. Here is her phone number that I can text. And here is her email, another way to get a hold of her. You can set up an office hour appointment with her if you'd like to have some one-on-one -on -one help. Or you can contact her via email and you guys can set up a time. Our staff is going to be available between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. Mondays through Fridays during summer school. You should expect a response within 24 hours business-wise. So if you send an email late Friday night, you likely won't get a response till Monday. But if you email them on a Tuesday, you should hear back by Wednesday. So up here, if you click your name, you can access your profile. Here's just if you need to change your password or how you're alerted about things. So you could get text alerts or email alerts about scoring announcements and different items. And then from there, let's view this messaging system. So I can see Mrs. Schaefer has emailed me or messaged me via the system. And I can also select my teacher, select psychology, the message, and then submit homework. So to submit homework, I can check this, select my course that I'm in. So here I would want English 9 semester 1. Select activity. I can select the unit 1 practice and then I can attach a file or I can paste a Google Doc link just like this. And if I choose to paste a link, I want to make sure that my item is titled. So practice 1.1.10 English 9A and then my last name. From there, I will want to adjust this to share anyone with the link can view. And then two, I can share it directly with my teacher. So I'll type his first and last name at kentisd.org, all lowercase. I can click this and then give him the option to edit and add feedback if I'd like. If your work is submitted via Apex, it will show in your gradebook. So I'm going to submit this. And if I go back to English 9 on my dashboard, I can always get back to my dashboard by clicking right up here. If I click my gradebook, I can see that my work was submitted on 610. I can also see by clicking my gradebook how I've done so far 
what I need to work on in order to get up to the date, what work is complete or not complete, and how many assignments I have remaining in the course. Also on my dashboard, I can hover my mouse over these progress bars and see in this course, I've completed 17.1% of the content and I'm on schedule. Here I can see I've only completed 2.2% of the content and I'm very behind schedule. So I need to do some extra work to get caught up. Now here we see overdue activities. So we do not penalize for overdue work. However, in order to take your next, next test, you must have turned everything in prior and all of your courses need to be finished, including the exam, final exam by August 4th at 2 p.m. in order to potentially earn credit for the course. So here I can see these assignments were due then and I need to complete them, but I can see that this was submitted, just not graded yet. So I know that that is all set. So when I open up my course, I'm gonna open up my English 9 course here. I'll see a few different things. I can resume right where I left off, so I can click resume. And that will show me I was just on the reading The Monkey's Paw by W.W. Jacobs. I can go back and review the work that I've already done and view anything else, but I can't go forward until I finish this 1.1.5 quiz. So I need to continue on before I get there. So first I wanna do the reading. When I do the reading, I'll have this option to access the reading guide, which I can use on my quiz tests and exam, in addition to any notes that you have. And if I'd like, I can copy and paste this right into a Google Doc. So we'll just paste it right here. And I can type what I what I need, you know, for information. And these are my own notes. So if I'd like to do bullet points or full sentences, I have that option. So now that I have my reading guide, I can use that with the monkey's paw. Here's a video with some background information. I also have access to this transcript if I'd like to read along while he speaks. And then I also have the reading materials. So this is where my reading is going to be. And here it is, the monkey's paw. And I can do different items with this. I can have it read to me. I can translate it if I need to. I can download it or print it if I'd like. Or I can even copy and paste this and then go into Google Docs and use it to highlight different parts of the reading and information that I might think is useful. Once I'm done with the reading, I'll hit close. And then I can move on. As you read, click the words in blues for definition. So this is also the reading, but broken up a little bit more. So if you prefer to do it this way, you can. There's little review sessions as you go throughout. Now these are not graded, but it's a great way to check in on how you are doing. So it shows you lost a game is the reason I can reset and try that again. And that is what is correct. Now this might be something that's on the quiz, so I might want to type or add that to my notes. You'll see that the audio is also available here. And now I'm ready for my quiz. So now I can take my quiz about the monkey's paw. Again, I can read the question and it will be somewhere between five and 15 questions for each quiz. I can translate it. I can have it read out loud to me, but I can't go back and access the content until after I've finished my test. So in order to pass a quiz with my school at Kent, quiz test or exam, you need to earn at least 60%. From there, you'll be able to move on. So I can see here, I earned an 80%. I got these four questions right. I'm completed, so now I can continue. Now I have another study and another quiz. So when I click this study, it will show me I'm analyzing the shape of the story. On the first page of every study is going to be your study guide. This is what you can use to take some guided notes through the lesson. Um, you can, again, copy and paste this or print it if you'd like. And these are the notes you'll be able to use when taking your quiz tests or exams. So quizzes are taken at home. 
Um, you'll want to take your, the time to go through the material and the reading and take that quiz. I would recommend taking the quiz immediately after so that the information is fresh in your brain. Then once you finish the quizzes and all of the practices, you can see this is a little bit longer unit, you will get to the first test. Now the tests must be taken at a proctoring site. So whether that's the Kent ISD or your local school that has hosted a proctoring site, reach out to your counselor for more information on that. You'll need to be on campus in order to take this test. So I can still use my notes for this, but I'll need to be on campus um, at the ISD or at my local school if they're hosting a testing site in order to take this test. That is going to be the same for the final exam. So the last unit in the course is the final exam. And you'll see check back 713, um, contact your teacher to take this exam. So you'll need to reach out and find a time that works to come in and take the exam. The Kent ISD is going to be drop in testing. So it will be first come first serve. Um, so if you know that you're getting ready for a test, you'll want to plan to come in. Additionally, if you are up to a test, but maybe it's Thursday and you have to work on a Friday, you can ask your teacher for a bypass. So what a bypass will do, it'll allow you to continue to work in the next unit of the course. However, you won't be able to take that test yet. So what they will do, we're looking here, they'll put a zero in just as a placeholder for this test so they can move you on. You can continue to work through unit two and then once you're up to that unit two, then you'll want to plan to come in and you can take your unit one and unit two test. We're really excited to have everybody on board for summer school this year. Um, we're excited to see you on campus for testing. and You'll want to have your notes prepared prior to arriving. We will have a printer on site if you'd like to print your notes, um, but you'll want to make sure that they are all ready in Google Docs and Apex prior to. Also, when you come on campus to test, you'll have to use one of our computers. So be sure on a sticky note to write down your login information for both your Google Docs, if you need that, and for your Apex. We are excited to see you on campus and we hope that you have a fun but successful summer and we will see you soon. Thanks.